Hi right, folks, Steve here at Boss Traders. Today we're going to take a closer look at a brand new product line in our yard. It's called the Elio. Uh, awesome little trailer. It is a product that is designed to be towed by the smallest of cars. In fact, uh, the one that we're going to be looking at today is called the O2s, O3s and O4s. It's three different floor plan in the same shell. It will weigh uh, just a little over 1100 pounds to, uh, to start and finish around the 1600 pounds for the AVS one. So um, we'll start with the O2, but before we start, let's, uh, let's take a look at the construction of it. One of the a very interesting feature on those is that they have a full aluminum chassis. So whatever's underneath of it, aluminum, no steel at all on there. A great way of doing it. It's all fiberglass. So the whole thing is made out of fiberglass, including the side wall. Our floor are fiberglass and case plywood. Uh, very unusual. In fact, it's the same type of construction that you will find on some of the decking for, for housing. It's super strong. It's totally waterproof. It's the greatest thing ever. And in a trailer, well, it just doesn't exist. This is very unusual. Now, you need to know that Elio is actually manufactured in Canada. It's a great product, and they really wanted to make a trailer that's going to last longer than a Trillium or a Bowler did back in the 70s. We still have plenty of those on the road today. I'm sure these will be as well in 50 years from now. So let's take a look at the O2. Three floor plan I mentioned. O2 will have an enclosed bathroom, and it's what distinctive from the other two floor plan, but it's also the AVS one. Uh, it is 14 foot including the tongue, just a little over 14 foot including the tongue, 10 foot of box, it's 76 inch wide and 90 inch of height. So if your uh, garage door is uh, 8 foot by 8 foot, that will actually fit in your garage. So uh, on the outside, it's all gel coated by the way, and from the roof to the side wall, it's glued with a particular product that actually melt the fiberglass so it's all sealed, it's like welded together. You cannot get the water to get in there. Great way of manufacturing it. Uh, this O2 that I have right now is in the uh, gray exterior and bubble could be different colors but this one is with the black. So there is three exterior color, gray, beige and white. This one is gray. Uh, one of the features I really like, our fenders are rubber. They're very soft, it's great. Aluminum wheels and our wheel wells are all rock guarded. Doesn't get any better than that. There is storage underneath, frameless windows, patio light, swivel tongue jacks. This thing doesn't weigh anything, so it doesn't need anything more than that. You get a door with a screen door uh, on the inside. Very important, our floor, we mentioned that. It is uh, fiberglass and case plywood. It doesn't get any better than that. Our cabinet, top notch. Uh, all aluminum framing, push button locks, hardware. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, we do get a sink, we do get a gray water, we do get a black water tank, and we also get a fresh water tank. So just like a regular trailer. A uh, two burner stove on this side with a flush mount glassed up. Your microwave is here, there is storage underneath. There is a two way fridge with freezer. There is also uh, storage below. The only wood in the trailer, the drawer, made out of plywood. Uh, talking about that, our walls are actually fiberglass. No wood in there as well. And the liner actually is an automotive quality. It's designed for cars. We can find that in some of the cars on the market. That's what they use. It's a great way of doing it. Bathroom. So you get this little cabinet with a flush mounted toilet and then it's all in one piece. You can actually shower in here if you want. It's a little tight, but it does the job. Our dinette, 65 inch wide. So it's a little wider than a queen size by 74 inch in length. So in an RV, as a rule, when you got a queen size bed or an RV queen size, it's 60 by 74. So this one is actually five inch wider. A great way of doing it. Uh, table goes down. It's actually the using the hardware for the table stand, the one they use in the uh, marine industry. So 
It's not just a foot that's sitting in a receiver. This is actually screwed on. It's pretty nice. Uh, there's lots of storage underneath as well. You can just lift the, uh, the cushions and you get access to your storage. Talking about cushions, I just want to show you here what this manufacturer's, how they're doing it. They even put a little piping around from the vinyl to the fabric. You're not going to get that in any other RV, folks. LED lights, they both, they come in uh, two intensity. It's pretty nice. And we get a fantastic fan, thermostat control. Uh, it's a low profile unit, so it doesn't have as much height. And for this little unit, it's the perfect ventilation. So folks, that's the O2. Let's take a look at the O3. In the white exterior, an ocean blue uh, bubble. It is the exact same thing on the outside, except this one will come with an outside shower with hot and cold. On the inside, the back end is exactly the same. It is 65 by 74, your bed. We get a dual uh, purpose sink and two burner stove. It's a pretty nice little unit glassed up again. You still get your microwave, you still get the storage, but the front has been laid out a little differently. You get an extra dinette for two people that converts into sleeping for one, and under this particular cabinet, we have our toilet. Flush mounted toilet, it goes into a black tank, uh, just like uh, you would in any other RV. It's pretty nice. A little bit of storage right here. When you look at the quality of the finish, folks, I'm, I can tell you right now, you are not going to be able to find anything better than this. It is absolutely incredible. Lots of little extra features. There's a 12-volt uh, uh, USB combo unit right there on the side. It's just a beautiful little unit. 1,600 pounds, folks. The O4 is the lightest of all three. My 04 is this little gray one with the blue bubble. I just want you to take a look at this beige one because that's also a color available for the outside with the same color uh, bubble. Also an 03. Uh, the 04, a little bit more simple. This is uh, definitely a trailer that was designed for the people that just want to get off the ground. Um, we get a lot of customers coming in, they got a sedan or I got a Subaru, uh, we're, we're tenting, we're getting too old to be tenting. We just want to get off the ground, this is it. This is 80 by 74. This converts into a bed that's 80 by 74. Or if you want, you can convert only one side of it. So one of the people can go down and you can leave this front one uh, standing up as a dining area. So you got your queen size bed and a place to sit. Uh, one of the options that comes on this particular trailer is the front counter. It is an option. If you don't get the counter, you get all that extra space. So we just felt that it was uh, a, a, an option that I think a lot of customers would appreciate. There is a lot of storage below as well. And this one comes, this comes, uh, comes with a portable toilet. So you still get uh, a little something if you need to uh, need to go to the hot house in the middle of the night. Well, you got it right here, folks. The counter comes with a sink, but no tap. I think a lot of the customers that are wanting to get off the ground, they got their camping equipment. Um, they eat outside, they got their Coleman stove, uh, they got a portable cooler, sometime electrical, which um, Elio have dedicated that particular spot for the cooler, and they actually put a plug right there to plug it in. So you got the 12 volts and the USB as well. So it's uh, actually the perfect spot for it. Great little trailer. It weighs 1,187 pounds. You cannot beat that. This is great. You got a king size bed. You got plenty of storage, a nice counter to prep a meal if you want. Uh, folks, these are the Elio products. Um, we just got them in. We're gonna have a lot more coming in. Definitely worth a look if you're uh, looking for a camper that you can pull with your small car or medium sized car. Or small SUVs, this is it. You got a CRV, you can tow this, no problem. Folks, I think we're done. Thanks for watching.